Right, so here's where we are now. We've built up our little 3D logo. We've animated it in and it's all looking fine so far, but we're a far way away from actually where we're going to be heading, of course. So we've still got quite a lot of work to do to get from here to our final ones. So the next thing we need to look at is lights. Now, obviously lighting a 3D environment is absolutely crucial to what we're trying to do here. So um, let's come in and start building this up. So we come to new layer lights and we've got different types of lights that we're going to be using. So we've got, we'll start with the spotlight because that's probably the most uh, easily definable. I'm turn off all of the other little things here and we will call this spot one and keep my intensity at 100. So here we have our sort of, yeah, standard run of the mill spotlights. We've got a little fall off going on here, um, but let's come in and see how we can see this a bit better. Uh, let's do two views up here. So on this side of the screen now we have our top view, which we can actually change to any of the other sort of author graphic views or a custom view and start to see our environment as it, uh, as it is in 3D space. Cool, um, but let's stick this back to um, top there. So if we take our spotlight here, this area here is actually our ground plane down there. So if I can move this over here, you'll see it updating immediately over on our active camera over here. And I can adjust obviously where I want to point. I'm gonna point one a little bit over on that side of the screen there. Cool, so we've got our lights starting to come in. Now I want to start filling in some of the extra space. So I'm gonna create a new type of light. And we've got actually a couple to, to fill in extra areas. We've got the ambient light, which will just fill in um, across the entire scene, which can be very useful. And we've got our parallel light here. Now the ambient light won't let us cast shadows or do any sort of fall off because it is just sort of this soft uh, light that just covers everything. Whereas the parallel light, and let's um, take the fall off to none there on that and get a slightly cooler look here. So the parallel light, we zoom in on the view here. You can see the icon for this is slightly different to the spotlight here because we um, get this just sort of, there's no none of that cone going on. We've just got this big wide light that here is helping to fill in some of that stuff. So let's call this parallel. Parallel one, let's make sure I can spell parallel. Let's take the intensity down on this. And let's start this casting shadows. Now I don't want my shadows too dark. Take us to about 50, there we go. And with spots, we'll turn those shadows on as well. Take those to about 50. So the shadow darkness is really how yeah, dark, this shadow is here, and the shadow diffusion is how blurred it is. So let's do the same on this one as well. So cast shadows. So we can get some really nice sort of um, soft shadows happening here. Cool, all right, so the next part is to build up our new light. And this light here is going to be the light. There's another spot, but it's going to be following our little logo here. So let's just uh, let's just set that up.